Welcome back, to, ladies and gentlemen, for another episode of Cork and Board, pairing good food with good wine. It is the height of summer. It has been gorgeous outside these last few weeks, but it's also been hot, and I mean really hot. Hot to the point that I don't even want hot food right now because it's, it's just too much right now. So I need something for dinner that is going to be fairly easy to make, served cold, but full of flavor. And the first thing that comes to mind when I make that is tuna poke. Now, poke is a raw fish preparation method that's out of the Pacific Ocean. It is used by curing the exterior of the meat using a soy sauce base. And this is a fairly important piece because Technically, the moment you change that, you change what kind of prep method it is. If you substitute the alcohol and acid content in the soy sauce for the stronger acid of citric juices, like fresh squeezed lemon or lime, it becomes a ceviche, which is a similar prep method out of South America. Or you can go the other direction and go for a very strong base, like alcohol. Think vodka, think aquavit from Iceland. But the moment you do that, it suddenly becomes a gravlax. Now to go with that for wine, I need something that's very flavorful and that can handle some of the spicier elements I'm going to be putting into this poke. And so for that, I am going to Australia for a Shiraz. Now this one here happens to be the Sidewood Shiraz from the Adelaide Hills. It is the 2016 vintage. This is quickly growing into one of my favorite red wines out on the market right now. And you're definitely gonna see it back on the show in future years from the same vintage as we watch this wine's flavor profile evolve. So the way to make a poke is you wanna start with making your sauce and get that soy sauce base all mixed together with all of your flavoring ingredients. First, you then wanna add in your key ingredients like your tuna and your avocado, and then it needs to sit in the fridge for half an hour before everything comes out together and gets cured properly. You're then gonna bring it out, add the last key ingredient, which is the nuts. You can't add those beforehand or else they're gonna get soggy. And then you can add in any additional little ingredients that you want, but that is the key thing. So let's get into making all those parts. Now before the poke went into the fridge, I had mentioned some add-ons beyond the nuts. Because some people like having certain things in their poke, some people don't. You can add things like cucumber, you can add peppers, you can add some hot peppers to add some extra spice, but these are things that some people are not gonna be as okay with. So these are good things that we're just gonna make individually. We're gonna dice them up at different levels of fineness and then set them aside in additional bowls that people can just add in like toppings once they've got their bowl of choice. So we're going to make that. We're going to make some cucumber and I'm going to slice up a little bit of spicy jalapeno pepper for myself just to up that spice factor in this poke. I think it's going to go well with the wine and I need to up my vegetable count anyway. So let's get on to that.
All right, guys, very painless meal to make. Now let's have our taste of that lovely poke. So, so savory. That soy sauce, avocado, and the tuna just goes together so well. The tuna, despite it looking in the footage that it was falling apart, and frankly, I was really scared that it was, it's actually holding up really, really well, and it's got that perfect buttery, melt-in-your-mouth kind of texture. The nori's adding a nice little bit of roughage, so are the cucumber and the spicing. Mm. Wonderful, excellent little additions to just accentuate all the flavors already present in the dish. Now, how does it taste with the wine? Ooh, that is really, really smooth. I'm not getting as much of the spice as I thought I was gonna get, but it's still there. It's still adding this wonderful complement to everything else. And what I'm just getting is this natural flow from the savoriness of the poke into the smoothness of the Shiraz. And the, what's going on in my mouth right now is hard to describe. It's just absolutely sublime, in all honesty. I'm really glad I did this one. It was a bit of an experiment. I've never gone with something as heavy as a Shiraz for a fish dish, but good to know that it works for poke and the strong flavors that soy sauce really brings to a firm and flavorful fish like tuna in this pairing. So thank you guys all for coming along and watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and pour over that subscribe button, and let's grow this channel together. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.